Mark Masri. How you doing, buddy? Good, how are you doing? It's so good to have you here. Thank you. That is from your brand new album, Beating Heart. Mm -hmm. And uh, you kind of have a good uh, a weekend coming up on April 2nd. You know, they mentioned it off the top. They took all my thunder. I wanted <laughs> to make this big announcement, but it was all taken for me. You know, you have been doing this for a long time. We've been friends for a long time. There's not many of us left after 20 years no. uh, still doing this thing. You're an overnight success. In 15, 20 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. But, you know, this Juno nomination is, um, I mean, I think obviously it's, it's a wonderful opportunity. But I think you have a wonderful perspective on things after 15 or 20 years of ups and downs, of big moments that should be life-changing. We take this in stride now. Tell us a little bit about how that transition's happened for you. Well, you, you put it really well, Kevin. It's, um, you know, the only way we gain the perspective that's required to be able to keep keeping at this, you mm -hmm. know, as we do, is through experience and through coming, uh, through experiencing uh, great successes and also learning how to handle and deal with unmet expectations. And in the music industry where things are changing all the time and uh, like you said, you know, there may be an incredible opportunity or these benchmarks in our lives that we think are going to be the tipping point and nothing happens, uh, we, we can easily be dis disappointed, discouraged and be, yeah. you know, tempted to give up and, and, and walk away. And I tell people, you know, like, it's, it's uh, you know, if you ever, you ever feel like, you know, moving on, doing something else, giving up, letting go, and I say, yeah, usually once a week, <laughs> once a week. at least once yeah, a week, yeah. and probably will um, uh, for, the rest, for the rest of my life. But I think what I've learned, perspective for me has, has really helped, uh, you know, it's, it's maturing, it's maturity, it's coming through some, you know, the successes and the failures and, the, and those expectations that don't live up to, to what we had hoped or dreamed. The reality is that the, the, the less tightly that we hold mm -hmm. on to this thing, this gift that we've been given by God, I think that creates a, 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 a it gives him the license to do what he wants with it. And I've learned as I, as I get older, I'll be, you know, 44 this year. Um, I've that been singing. Old. Yeah, that I know. <laughs> Look at all this yeah, gray. That's right. Um, you know, the days of hair dye are over yeah. now. It's just, it is what it is. Um, I find that uh, the more loosely that I hold on to this gift, this thing that I've tried to uh, uh, treasure and protect and, and, and you know, uh, use in, in certain arenas and do certain things with, the more loosely I, I hold on to it, the more God has been able to do mm -hmm. with it. And so I, I, expectations, not that I don't want to um, achieve greatness and, and for his glory, obviously, but I... It has to be on his terms, and the only way that can happen is when I let go of it and let him do it. When we talk about, you know, we hear artists say this all the time, it's just an honor to be nominated. And, and sometimes I think that that's just, they feel they need to say that. Yeah. But as you get older and as you have, uh, as you have faith, I think it does literally change your perspective. And until mm. we get to that place, I think it's hard to succeed well. Mm. You know, I, I know for myself, anytime I have really wanted something, like you say, built my expectations, hurt, disappointment creep in. When I put my faith in the creator and the giver of all gifts, it changes. So, you know, I, I look at this. I mean, I look at the live uh, DVD that you guys did. If you haven't seen that, uh, you need to see. This was a big PBS special that yeah. you did. Um, and then you, you, you were with David Foster. You've had these moments... Um, of greatness and you've had valleys and we walked through a lot of them I, I, we've been together a lot sure. through that stuff and yeah. I've seen the maturity that happens in us as we get older as we grow in our faith in Christ it changes our perspective on our music and our gift yeah I it, think it has to it, it does it it uh, there's there's a there's a bigger picture there's an eternal picture at play in all of our lives mm -hmm. Um, when you surrender to the love of a savior and we're coming up on the season that is so much about love and sacrifice and Jesus' death on the cross for us that just transforms us if yeah. we will allow him to do that in our lives. Your, your perspective changes, like you said, and, and, and you're more sort of e eternity focused mm -hmm. and you're looking at bigger picture. And so these little little nuggets and, and, and incredible little blessings along the way are beautiful and not to discount them and to take anything away from them. But, but realizing the bigger picture, the, the bigger canvas on which God is painting, mm -hmm. the story of your life is at play. 
You can kind of step back and it takes the pressure off of us. You know what I find? More loosely, as I mentioned, I hold on to this thing, the, the less pressure I feel to produce anything. People want to know, what are you doing? What's happening? What's happening? I can't really tell you. It's, it's not really up to me. I'm just kind of letting it happen as it happens. And, um, you know, and to, and to be honored in this category, it, like, I mean, honestly, no expectations, right. you know, when you're up against royalty like that um, uh, in this country. So to be nominated well. truly, truly is an honor. Uh, that's know? a huge deal. Yeah. And, and the, the thing that I love is that you are at the place where you know it is an honor. And it does change everybody's perspective. We are so grateful that you were here. Oh, my. Man, I, it's so is, nice. It's like coming home. It is. But it's, it's nice to have a friend. Uh, it's nice to have somebody succeeding. It's nice to have somebody where their peers and, and the rest of us are saying, we think you're great. We, wanna, we wish you all the best. We're, we're so grateful that you were here. We're going to be rooting for you on April 2nd. Mark, thank you so thank much you. for being here, buddy.